Two wars ago, in an awesome display of planning that server 323 faced, they had someone make an account on 323, port back to their own server for war, and create the clan that we all joined. It's true. The problem was they started bragging about it before they won. They sent several rallies at 323 in the last 10 minutes, but lost. We thought that was one of the best server wars of all time. Until this week, my first tip of the day is always wait till you win to start talking shit. <laughs> they told us that they had a spy in our, and that we had joined their clan before they won and we gave them the boot and they no longer had the advantage. Whoops. This server war, we fought server 3 one, three, one. Uh, First off, really well organized uh, server they had some well planned patient attacks they tested our boundaries the first hours on end um, just hats off to the to 131 much respect for them they did make fun of forever which pisses me off but other than that they did okay <laughs> so server 323 verse 131 I, I rarely do this oh this is easy by the way about my normal introduction I had to show this I, I think you'd be missing out if, if I didn't show this uh, our plan go to the server and zero at least one big player unknown to me but that was the plan now I had a different plan myself uh, <laughs> because I barely do the server war my plan was to survive and not literally lose the war for us so and get points, make it worth our while, learn a little bit, which I really did. Been playing for years and I'm just now getting into Surf War. Tells that that tells a lot to people that are out there with three hundred thousand power trying to get into Surf War. I'm out there with almost fifty million and I'm barely making it. <laughs> so I want now the first person that they attacked, um, this was I don't have the actual um, data from Jules, but this was Splash and Jules, Splash from 323 Phoenix, Jules from 323 Actives, and they both kind of ganged up on one player, so you'll see little patches where um, this fade, she'll go down a lot of power. Uh, now, what I want, the reason why I wanted to show this, though, was to, just to show everyone what kind of sacrifice the big players in your server, if, if you were doing server wars every week or every other week, and you're not participating in them or going to the other server and you you guys may win you may lose but the, the big players in your server they're sacrificing a lot uh, for, for Splash and Jules to take out this one player they both lost a significant amount of troops uh, I think Splash was basically trading off troop for troop or if not worse I think yeah in this exchange he lost 208,000 troops uh, Fade lost 140,000 they were on purple land and Splash was losing T4 to her T1 for a long time pretty well set up defender because I wasn't on I wasn't there yet I don't know exactly what happened I don't know why they were able to attack so many times but within 10 minutes they had zeroed out an 80 million player and brought them down to I think 20 or 30 million I don't know exactly and that's a really intimidating thing so a good strategy to go in to find a big player I don't know if they were going to uh, just look for someone that was not online. It's rare that you find a player that big that's not protected, uh, or if they were going to maybe instigate them into into an attack. Our server worked really well together. This this server war, and it's uh, it's notable that if your server is at war with each other constantly, it's really hard to stop all of the war and take up arms together and go fight a server war together. It's taken us months to be able to get everything together so we can go out into these server wars and compete with each other side by side and not try to slide some troops in on the side. 
So, uh, really, really good job for our, for our server as well. This is probably, again, I don't have a lot of experience. And for you guys out there that, that listen to the channel, that have a lot of experience, you may have seen this before. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, last week, I think there was two or three rallies. They set up, I think, three rallies right at the end. Their intention was that they wanted to weaken us with the first rally and then punch us out of there on the second rally. And maybe just, just secure Temple with the third in case we came back with another rally. I, I'm assuming that's what they were trying to do. But they got the first two rallies in and they never brought the third. So we were able to win after they rallied us two times. Uh, this is a lot different, this war. They had... The, the way it was situated was they had an 800 million player, they had a 500 million player, and then they kind of dropped off after that. Whereas we came in with five or six players between three and four hundred million, and then another six or seven that were between 40 and 100 million. So we had a lot of backup. Uh, meanwhile, had a bunch of great replays from ranked matches. Uh, Project Mayhem, who's in Phoenix right now, who's also very good friends with uh, Jules, who's one of the leaders on the server. Um, they have very close, very, very close teams. I believe that Mayhem kind of um, created this team after Jules' team, after watching how successful she was. They're both top 100 um, in ranked matches. Uh, this is a great match. You, you see a lot of Red Ursula. A lot and uh, and um, of course you see a lot of the prints this is a high octane team and even though the even though red earth like it doesn't look like she's doing a lot of damage she's doing two or three hundred two or three thousand damage and sometimes she'll do th i think it's three shots and then the bear will get one more so that's eight thousand damage and then we should get some critical rate attacks in there so right there was actually like eleven thousand damage that's that's a big hit and Jules has the healer, the blue colonel, at third awakening, maxed out, I'm sure. Mayhem has been on a tear. I think he hit the lottery for like a million or two. Because they must have spent at least half that on the server. Really, really been uh, representing himself really well. Building up his account in amazing fashion. So, two of the elite from 323. Uh, the server's now growing up quite a bit, so most of our good players are between 50 and 100 million, and then you have the elite players that are right around 200 and plus, uh, let's say 150 and plus million. So we're, we're able to start competing with, uh, with some of the older uh, servers. And something else I've noticed, and it, it was pointed out to me by one of our players, that some of the older servers have older partners and they haven't really kept up quite as much as some of the newer servers have so they're still using the the nomad team they're still using the god of earth teams with uh with the dragon man and you can come in with some of these newer teams with bait with uh cha cha, -cha with uh prince with ursula or ursa and there's a big advantage over some of the older teams Even though I've talked to some of the older players and they have just an unbelievable amount of knowledge. Most of them are very willing to share too, so don't be shy. Talk to the older players in your server. If you're not in a chat about partners, you're missing out because I'm in several big chats and I, I, sometimes I don't even talk in the chat. I'll just watch these guys <laughs> lurk, I guess you, uh, you call it. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's amazing the amount of detail that some of these older players have. And you, you can learn a lot from them. I've been playing for a couple of years and I still learn daily. So I slowed the match down times one. And uh, that just could let you watch a little better. I, I don't know. Maybe I should go in times three. When I record, I like to go in times one. I, that way I'm, I'm actually reading what the attacks are doing, exactly what's going on. So two Desert Prince, what, that's a pretty formidable team. You have two Desert Prince, you know, Guard of Earth Red, and Red Ursa. Project Mayhem wins it. So getting back to the server war, after about four hours of one troop partner testing, uh, 131 decides that they're going to take Temple back. We had, a, we had Temple hemmed up. They attacked us with five rallies. 
and these are from all big players of like i said 800 million 500 million a couple hundred million and it was insane looking i've never seen five rallies go off at one time but they actually pushed through five rallies and i believe they did five at once but i believe they even sent a sixth at the very end and i can't believe we held up this this is an, another uh, hats off to to the leaders of uh, 323 i believe jules was leading the leading this uh le leading our team uh her partners held up we had splash there as well we had some very big players and a uh, lot of talent. We did have a, about three or four hours of partner testing and they were relentless. They tested partners. So if you are in server war and someone else is in temple and you're, you're planning on this last minute attack, which we've now seen in two server wars back to back, you want to test your partners constantly test your partners, send one troop in, send different teams in, see if you can beat their partners. If you're not beating their partners, you're not going to take them out of temple, they will beat you in temple. Um, it's a huge deal to, to win the partner battle. And r remember, don't do what I did and, and, and go there before you change your runes, before you change your talent page. Make sure you get everything as best as you can. We've been fortunate for, the, for those that are um, don't mind taking out the, the golden credit card or debit card and <laughs> there's been a few events that have really benefited uh, everyone as far as the runes we had a couple of rune events where I believe I've, I've actually picked up three or four different runes I've never had before and all of them are troop based so it's pretty pretty nice so only bad side to that is he has another attack on temple I think this was the last one where we actually won I believe yeah, only bad thing is if I got them, they do too, so, and where I go, just bring them up to level 3 or 4, uh, and I'll wait for the next event, there are people out there that are already having 6 and 7, yay. So, something else to be wary of, they were being very careful of, we had to leave Temple, we had to, we, had, we got more people in the group, then we had to send another march back to Temple, you have to be very careful on how you leave, how you come back, you pay very, very close attention to all that. Now, there's a lot of risk involved. I mean, look, both players on both sides lost a lot. I believe Splash lost 30 million. I believe Jules lost 30 or 40 million. So these these guys, huge sacrifice. But they get they get a little benefit from it too. I, I think that was 14 million clan coins uh, for that right there. Where's the, where's the commas? Or maybe that was 1.3 million. But these are per battle. So these are tons of clan coins. I have 7 million. I've never had that before. I, don't, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them all. Probably abuse them. I don't know. <laughs> so here's some of the battles that happened in Temple that I was part of because I was part of the rally. So we, we were all part of all these. I'm trying to find some of the good ones. I believe this was the very last one where we were able to come back out of Temple. And this meant that we won. And if you pay close attention to what I did as soon as we won, I believe I collected my toys and got the hell out of there. We, we were just beside ourselves. There's a lot of pressure on everyone. Everyone's taking pretty heavy losses, especially the, the big players that are in there first. Uh, I have T4, I don't have T5, but there was many guys in our in our server that had T5s. So when they're losing T5s, this, this is a big investment that they have in the server. Uh, I, I think I lost two or three million power, which is nothing compared to the people that were losing 40 and 50 million. Now my rewards were comparative to, to what theirs were for the big losses that they were taking and as soon as it was over Fortmost charges into their one of their hives Jules follows them getting as many points as they can they wanted to make sure they secured the number one number two three spot in the in the actual server war and believe it or not this is a, this was a 50 50 all the way up until the very end and we had already taken our temple but it was, it was still 50 50 they had they had capitalize on some mistakes we had made earlier on our server so as soon as it was over I'm not saying I was scared but I definitely wasn't hanging out there with uh, these giants because <laughs> it would be my luck if they take it out on me so I look around uh, we had now successfully won we're at 73 percent so that should have that should have won it for us and I get the hell out of there
and I'm scattered back in 323. Mission accomplished. Didn't kill myself. Didn't kill our server. Oh no, now I'm going. Every time I go, I'm nerve. It's nerve nerve wracking for me because um, I think I've been to the other server now, not counting the the fire fro frost fire events, probably three or four times. The first time I ever went, I had 75 red lines head coming towards me because I dropped my shield the second I was there. <laughs> so to end off the video, we have Splashy. We have a, a pretty cool replay from him, also from ranked matches. I had a bunch of really good replays come through. I wish I could have played more. But I really wanted to show you um, what five rallies at one time looked like in the server war. I, I would suggest everyone that can participate, talk to the big players in your clan. You have to have big players that you can kind of go and uh, reinforce because without them, we were at, I would have been at risk the entire time. The second I got there and reinforced all the big players, uh, made a fake rally, and then I, we had the ghost event. I was literally farming ghosts half the time. Kind of irresponsible probably. And Splash, um, I talked through his entire match because they usually last about 30 seconds. So that was it. <laughs> so just want to tell everyone thank you for watching. I have so much going on. I'm building a website. I've got two different series I'm in the middle of. I seem to start more than I can finish. But I've got more partner uh, videos coming up. We have the rest of the partner series, which is the four, three and four stars. Got that coming out. So... Stay tuned. Come back. Thanks, everyone. Take it easy.